Hello guys, welcome back. AWS reInvent happened in December 2 to 6, 2024 in Las Vegas and there were many announcements. As you can see here, this is the top announcements of AWS reInvent 2024. I'll provide this link in the description if you haven't already gone through these announcements. You can see there are huge announcements made all over the places. I'm not going to go through all the announcement, but what I will try to do in this video, I will walk you through the bedrock uh, specific things. The ones that were there already, as well as what was announced or what is being added in the bedrock, uh, AWS bedrock. So yeah, the link will be in the description for this top announcement, but we will be mainly focusing on the bedrock specific things. Let's get started. This is the bedrock console as you can see here on the UI. On the left side, there are all the different things that we can explore in the bedrock itself, right? But before going there and exploring all the things that is there in the AWS or Amazon bedrock, things happens will be there. But if you are in other different area or region, just make sure going through the US East North Virginia to see what is there and what is there in your region by going through the through your region also right I'll show you one example specific later uh, which is present in some region which is not in other regions but you could if you are using AWS you already know that and you can check it yourself right first thing is that and the second thing is this bedrock configurations i would suggest you to go here and check the model access thing from here you choose the different models that you can have access when you are running different things right i would first suggest you to go here and modify model access if you have done some things already because you can see here i have some of the models already granted this is the place where you choose the particular models you want uh, to get access to so these are the two things and another thing is the settings. You can have the modal invocation loggings. You can make it on or off according to your desire. You can even choose the video in either S3 bucket or S3 and cloud was logs and so on. It depends upon your use case, right? I will just cancel this for now. Now let's go and see what is right. Getting started is just the overview. Here you can see all the different things. What is uh, builder tools? What is the foundation models? What are there? What is the safeguards and all the documentation provided by AWS itself? The next one is the providers. In AWS, you have different providers. Uh, here you can see AI21 uh, Labs. You can see uh, they have different uh, models from Amazon itself, from Anthropic and then Cohere, Meta. Next thing, now let's go into the foundational model part. There are many things that we can uh, go through. First thing first, there is this model catalog now. So this was new as it says here, because before there were some of the models only, but now there are many models. As you can see here, all the different models can be assessed now because there is this marketplace being introduced now. So if you go on top of this eye, you can see that Bedrock Marketplace includes models that you can use by first subscribing and then deploying to an endpoint right if i just click this you can see all the serverless one and if you just want to see from the ai to one labs you can see the models being granted so you can just play around here but the good part here as i said is there are now models from the marketplace so you can just go here maybe if i want to use solar uh, i can go inside this and view the subscription options and so on you can see delivery method in the bedrock it was released friday december 13 it was just released yesterday the marketplace it keeps on adding right it's it's really good place and now in the bedrock itself that you can choose different models which fit your use case so that it's easier to develop things the same thing here the marketplace uh, deployments here you can see a list of deployed you can go here and register in points from the sales makers if you click here you can provide and all the different things and register now there is a marketplace where you can find different models there is also this custom models you can create fine tuning jobs distillation jobs and create continued free training you can just go here and see the things and you can also import the models as the name suggests itself importing the models right there is also the info here you can click this and it will show on the sidebar okay uh, what is this right and there is this prompt routers this is quite good actually 
so what it does is as simple sentence it is mentioned here effectively routes request between different foundational models and the main thing that you need to be looking here is from the same modal family as you can see there are two routers right now anthropic and meta if you are using anthropic then only that modal family if you are using the meta then that modal family meaning that it will be routing between these models which is mentioned here in the future there might be many others just to show you how it works so you can choose this one after you click this you, you will see here open in a playground just click open in a playground now this is the chat and text playground so here it says anthropic prompt router right if you click this configuration icon it will show you all the different things you can have the system prompt and all the randomness and diversity things already being mentioned here if not then you can just close these configurations let's say i want to have a chat and i will just say okay just a simple question i will run it and it says you don't have access to the model with the specified model id meaning that if I just go down to the model as right it is using two different models as you can see here routing is between cloud 3 and cloud 3.5 so now if I go to the model as and if I go down here you see that this is the model 3.5 sonnet I have the access to the haiku but I don't have access to 3.5 that all you should request from here and so on so what you can do now is modify the access go down okay I need model 3.5 sonnet right and I will just do here next and then I will submit it if I now go down here it's in progress access request submitted it may take several minutes to get access to models refresh the base models able to update so I think I'll refresh this okay it's in progress but I will come back to this because it says a uh, couple of minutes the next one is image and the video you can create images and videos that's it right creates images from a text prompt create an image and so if i click this as you can see it is uh, shown that i want to create the image Sri Lanka tea plantation a simple example it is given here and if you submit it will create the image for you that that's the simple thing and it is running under the hood but be cautious that it costs some some money under the hood this is the image that is being created this is the simple thing and you can download it from here now let's go to the builder tools i have already created a video about uh, knowledge bases i'm not going to spend much time there but this is the place where you can create the agent one additional thing here now is it says here okay create your edge by selecting a foundational model and adding action groups and and so on right if you go and create click this create agent so there is a new thing now called enable multi-agent collaboration meaning that if you have more than one agent multi-agent collaboration allows this agent to associate the others as agent collaborators to orchestrate responses you can change this later if you have planned to use more than one agents now there is a functionality to enable the multi-agent uh, collaborator this is the agentic world we are moving in so does the amazon bedrock so they want to be themselves also in that in that direction you can just go ahead and play here and this flows is what i find it interesting this is really good i i have created video about this flow wise and the lang flow before right this is kind of a same thing as you can see here it says connect amazon bedrock prompts agents knowledge base guardrails and other aws services to create test deploy a user defined generative ai workflows into the knowledge basis now you get the idea this is what i was also saying before not all things are in all places here you can see the before there was the knowledge basis with the vector uh, store only meaning that you can build a fully customizable knowledge base with maximum flexibility and so on using the vector store now there is this structured data source also meaning that you can uh, create a knowledge base with structured data source which 
I think is a really good idea. Now you can connect between the structured and unstructured data to create the knowledge base. There is a knowledge base with the Kendra Gen AI index. So this is new also. It says build a knowledge base powered by the Kendra AI offering out of the box high semantic accuracy and flexible to use the index across Amazon Q. If you have used Amazon Q, then now we can use or leverage that also into the knowledge basis but this is not present in all the regions as i said you before so now let's demonstrate that if i go here and choose frankfurt you can see that this is a little bit confusing for many because they, it might be okay why is it not in my region and so on but then always what i suggested before also is if you are working on some region yeah it's not there you cannot use it but you can already see uh, that what it can do from other regions mainly from this us east uh, region at some point in the future aws will i hope uh, provide that into that particular region also so yeah you can just create uh, from here as you can see here once you create it asks which one you want to create and you can point to different things next is the prompt management this is also really good it was there before also but there is some additional things now inside it so this is uh, as it says here set of inputs that guide models on amazon bedrock to generate an appropriate response just to demonstrate one example i will create again here no need to do any of the things i will create it now you can see that there is a prompt provide a text prompt this is just example this is my first prompt please summarize the topic you can just add different messages and so on system instructions you can provide the system instructions but here what you can also do is optimize the prompt here you can see there is optimize and it says here select supported model to optimize so what we can do is it's, it's quite confusing here that you need to choose the model but there is no place to choose the model but if you see here there is this test window and there is this cross icon you click the arrow and now you can choose the model so you can go here and select the model i will select maybe anthropic let's see i can choose haiku and i will say apply so now you can see all the different parameters you can just play around with it i want to optimize this i will click this optimize and now you can see that optimize as a new variant so amazon bedrock will create a new variant so that you can evaluate the original prompt against the optimized one so now you can see this was my first prompt and now it is the optimized version of it we can have a, a response with this one and then also the response from this one and then we can see what is the output now let's go to the guardrails this one i have already created the video one thing which i like is i can give some examples now it even has for the image if you have the guardrails for the image then it's one way better already right just 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 give a try and you can use the guardrails into the knowledge basis or agents and so on in order you can even use it independently also that's it for the guardrails and this one is now the called watermark detection right so what it says here is detects whether an image was generated by a titan image model on bedrock so we can test it i created one image before so you need to be creating with the titan image generator if you go up here in the image I use the stable diffusion before but you need to be using these generate images from a text of this titan image generator so i used that before i will upload the image here first this image is not generated by the titan so if i just to analyze this was the video that i created the thumbnail and it will say okay watermark not detected right so now what i will do is i'll upload the one created by the titan this is the image that was created by the titan before this is the blue bag uh, and now if i analyze this it must know that it is generated by the uh, titan image generated motor let's see as you can see here watermark detected so confidence high bedrock detected or watermark generated by this on this image this is how uh, you can see which uh, image is generated by which model that is really good actually here so yeah there is now the inference and the assessments let's talk a little bit about this also the video is getting longer but i don't care i think the main thing here is providing all the information for you so the provision throughput here so this is provision throughput allows you to have dedicated capacity on models 
it depends upon your use cases if you want to have or purchase this provision throughput or not but if you are just testing it you can just use on demand uh, and there is this batch inference run model inference as synchronously in batches to efficiently process many requests at once right you can have the multiple batch inference and so on and it says here the job will be output okay the job output will be in the json file and is assigned in the s3 location so you can create a job provide the s3 path and it will be now this another thing is also interesting the cross region inference what it does is cross region inferences uses inference profiles to increase throughput and improve resiliency by routing your request uh, across multiple aws regions during the peak utilization burst as it's just here it does what it is mentioned here right it it just uh, request you across multiple aws regions during the peak utilization here you can see different models next thing is the evaluations evaluations as you can see here it says introducing automatic model as a jaws so preview there are two things one is the model here programmatic and the model as a jaws and the next one is the knowledge basis meaning that you can create one knowledge base another knowledge base with different configurations and maybe different vector embedding model or maybe different chunking mechanisms and so on and you can directly compare the different accuracies or other different metrics already from the ui itself if i just show you example if you create here you can just keep some random name and here you can choose the evaluator model and then here is a knowledge base that you can choose which knowledge base you want to use you just want to use the retrieval only or retrieval and response generation helpfulness correctness helpfulness logical coherence and so on and these metrics depends which one you want to choose here maybe retrieval and for the retrieval and response it has many so it depends upon your use case also what you want to do so yeah that's it here and then the user guide and bedrock service terms you can just go there and look but now let's see if our model access is being provided right so i was looking into the 3.5 sonate now it is granted right now i can show you the example that i was showing before prompt routers i can choose this one i will go to the playground and now it takes me to the playground i can ask here katmandu the same question i asked before and here you can see there is now these three haiku and 3.5 i have now access to 3.5 i can say run and it will run okay Kathmandu is the capital city of nepal a country located in south asia more specifically and all the different things is being provided here and now you can see which model it is being used okay fallback model is 3.5 sonnet but here you can see it is using model cloud 3.5 sonnet so you use the model 3.5 if you ask different equations it might use uh, three haiku this is called the model routing it routes based on the question you can just rerun this you can copy this and this is also really good that it shows the latency what is the output uh, tokens and what is the input because the input is this where is cut meant to then it is just 13 tokens and if you ask some other questions and maybe let's say where is okay i asked where is lumini but I, I just place G here, but it knows what is that, right? So it's a Lumini in a town located in the southern plains of Nepal and so on, right? And it is saying here that it is a historical location, birthplace of Siddhartha Gautam and so on, right? And who later became known as the Buddha. So birthplace of Buddha. If I go here now, it is still just cloud 3.5. So this is how it is. It is taking the model and it routes based on the prompt. So the prompt uh, router is what they have provided the name. And other things, I think I already went through all the different things. So yeah, this is what I want to show you in this video. I think you get the idea now what is there in the bedrock. Just go through there, try different things because bedrock and AWS itself was a little bit behind behind the other llm providers but now aws has provided new models and so on by the way i didn't talk about that but before i just in the video i just want to show you also here that because now there are new models there called nova light and nova pro nova real nova micro and so on besides the titan which was there before 
and that is already in the benchmark quite high already and significantly cheaper than other models you can just go there try it and see which one is uh, best fitting in your use case and so on so yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one